Hello, this is Martha Chapin from the American Cleaning Institute. Thank you for your participation in ACI's third Lunch and Learn webinar. We appreciate your interest in today's topic, sustainable living. Like the previous webinars in our Lunch and Learn series, we will be recording this webinar. Shortly after the webinar ends, we will send the recording link to everyone that registered. Just a few reminders before we begin. As an audience, you're going to be muted until the question and answer segment, but if you have questions during today's presentation, please type them in the question box. Today's webinar will provide you with information about sustainable practices, such as how choosing cold water when you do laundry can save you energy, save your clothes, and save the planet. You will learn how to help others understand the benefits of doing their laundry in cold water, and we will share links to educational resources that you can use in your presentations and lesson plans. From all of us at ACI's Education Department, we applaud the work you're doing in schools and communities. Some of the people that have joined us for today's webinar include representatives from the Extension Service, Family Career and Community Leaders of America, and American Association of Family and Consumer Sciences. We also have educators from across the US, Canada, and the UK, and some of our ACI member companies. Through partnerships with organizations like yours, ACI is able to educate consumers and future consumers about the safe, effective, and responsible use of and storage of cleaning products. Today's presenter is Nancy Bach. Nancy has a BS and MS in education and she's worked for ACI for 16 years and serves as a Senior Vice President of Education. She joined the ACI team and has been responsible for creating national educational programs such as our Healthy Schools, Healthy People, It's a Snap program and our Consumer Laundry Safety Campaign. She is recognized as a leader in consumer affairs, outreach, communications, and external relations, as well as partnership development and family and consumer sciences. For the past 35 years, she's been dedicated to designing campaigns, programs, and materials that provide better living for individuals, families, and communities. She believes that the backbone of our work is our educational partnerships, and you can learn more about Nancy on the ACI website. Now that I've introduced you to Nancy, please allow me to introduce or reintroduce you to the American Cleaning Institute. The consumer touches our products literally every single day, whether it's cleaning their laundry, cleaning their home, cleaning their families, cleaning themselves. We have a chance to really see our products in use in everyday life. Since 1926, the American Cleaning Institute and its members have been there, innovating effective and sustainable products that add value, convenience, and comfort to our lives every minute of every day. In all the spaces we call home, wherever we learn and grow, cleaning products are there to help keep us going, promoting our health and safety, and helping us find joy in the people and places that matter most. What drives the industry to innovation is the consumer, giving them products that really become experiences. And when you clean that baby blanket, you put a wonderful fabric conditioner with a wonderful fragrance in it, and it's soft, and it feels great, and it's clean. You might smell that again, and it takes you back to a very loving, caring moment that you had. Cleaning products are an integral and sustainable part of our lives, and the industry is committed to finding effective solutions that have a minimal impact on the environment for a future where more people can enjoy the things they love. The industry really has a drive and a passion to continue to help consumers' lives be cleaner, safer, and more satisfying. For generations, ACI and its cleaning product manufacturer and supplier members have set out to do more than help make the world cleaner. They've set out to make it a healthier place for better living.
Nancy Bach also leads the development of ACI's newest national educational programs, the Cold Water Saves Initiative, the focus of today's session. Nancy, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you, Martha, and thanks to all who are listening in. So during our webinar, we're going to be focusing on one way that you can enable others to make a more sustainable choice in the laundry room and how you can teach others to change the world one load of laundry at a time. A quick walk down the aisle, either on the web or on your next trip to the store, will find new results from the cleaning products industry. Continuous innovation and research are in place, and yes, they do find ways to improve products based on your feedback. Consumers continue to want us to meet their needs, so laundry products continuously change because there are changes in consumer habits, practices, and behaviors. We all know that there are new innovations in fabric, our appliances are continuing to evolve, and last but not least, there continues to be changes in cleaning product technologies. Consumers can make a huge difference with simple steps each and every time they start a load of laundry. They can and are playing a crucial role in the sustainable life cycle of laundry. Over the past 10 years, a number of life cycle analysis studies into laundry detergents have shown that the biggest impact is when laundry detergent is being used. So that's why detergent manufacturers are developing products designed specifically to work at lower temperatures as it represents the greatest opportunity for energy savings. There's a great opportunity in the laundry room to make a huge difference when you pause and think about the number of loads done in the U.S. each and every day. The number of loads that you or your families do depends on the number of factors. That might be your age, your lifestyle, the messiness of the items you're washing. It could even include where you're doing your laundry. Are you doing it in your home, in someone else's home? Um, do you have to transport that laundry to another place, making it a little um, less convenient? So all of these things do play into the number of loads of laundry people do. According to the U.S. Census, as of yesterday, the estimated 2017 U.S. population has grown to over 326 million. That's a really, really big number, and an even big en bigger number is the one that represents the number of loads of laundry done each day in the U.S. Many experts are telling us there's a number of ways for you to calculate the number of loads you think you would do in the course of a week or a year. And one of those ways is to estimate two to three loads per person per week. Again, that's two to three loads per person per week. Using that equation, that means a family of two may do six loads per week or an average of 312 loads per year. But what if those folks have jobs that require they work outdoors and their clothes get very, very dirty? Or what if those people have an active lifestyle and they go to the gym every day? These kinds of lifestyles will impact the number of loads that they do. Now, let's calculate um, for a family of five. That could be 15 loads a week or 780 loads a year. But what happens if they have triplets? These calculations are just an example to make it easier for you to see how we can make a positive difference on sustainable living in the laundry room with a chore that we know is not going away. So today we're going to focus on water temperature as one simple way we can make a difference because washing in cold water saves energy and can still get your clothes clean. Um, we do a lot of research here at the American Cleaning Institute, and back in 2015, we conducted some consumer research to better understand laundry perceptions and behaviors, and we found that there was an opportunity to educate others in the area of cold water wash. This research included consumers of all ages. However, it found a great opportunity to change the behavior of college students or work to make a change in behavior. In fact, our research found that 63% of students responded favorably to a behavior change after we provided them with, with just a little bit of information and a few messages. Last year, we conducted even more research with college students and found that 97.5% said they would be more inclined to wash their clothes in cold water after learning the benefits. 
we also learned that, that students' perceptions of cold water wash might give us a better understanding in other areas that are important, such as what do they think about cold water wash and its ability to kill germs, which we know it doesn't because we need higher temperatures to make that happen. We also learned that some believe that, you know, clothes just don't seem as clean when I use cold water, which we know really is a mindset change. That's false. It is possible to clean your clothes with low water temperatures. And lastly, as always, and we answer a lot of questions here at ACI about spots and stains, it doesn't matter the water temperature. Difficult or old stains are always going to be difficult to remove and may require extra work regardless of wash temperatures. This slide shows you information that is included in a technical brief that summarized the benefits of using cold water for everyday laundry in the U.S. This was put together by Carol Mars, one of our partners over at the Sustainability Consortium, and ACI did work with them and her to develop this brief. This is just one expert of many that shows recommended water temperatures divided by temperature and fabric type. This is just one example of general rules of thumbs to follow, and this can be a handy reference guide. However, we all know that consumers should still always follow the instructions on the fabric care label that is, is set by the manufacturer. Just a side note, um, as we've been developing our educational program, we've had an opportunity to talk to a lot of people, a lot of college students, a lot of high school students, and um, on the college campus at NC State, we were conducting a focus group last year, um, testing concepts, messages, graphics, those kinds of things. <clears throat> and when we referenced the fabric care labels, many of the students looked at us very puzzled, as if they had no idea what we were talking about. And when we reminded them to look in the back of their t-shirts, it was really funny to see how many of them were jerking their t-shirts around right in the middle of the focus group so they could see, maybe for the first time, and or notice for the first time, these laundry labels. Not so funny that they hadn't been taught that the label contains a wealth of information for them. So to be clear, our intent that day with our focus group and that the work that we're doing with Cold Water Saves is not to encourage everyone to wash every single solitary item in cold water but to raise awareness that there are clothes that can and should be washed in cold water. And if consumers follow the fabric care label, there could be substantial impacts on energy used, and we may even improve the longevity of our clothes. So why should we wash in cold water? Again, about 90% of the energy the washing machine uses goes towards heating the water. And we think that using facts like the ones that you see on the screen um, are good and great ways to support your educational efforts. In fact, we think they can help students understand the impact of their practices. When we put graphics and stats together in this way, we find that we're getting more success in students really understanding the impact that they can make. Later, you're going to learn um, a little bit more about where you can find this information. Partnerships are the backbone of our work in education and, and the work that we do here at ACI to educate consumers about the safe and proper use and storage and the benefits of cleaning products. So we've joined forces with the Sustainability Consortium and North Carolina State University on our Cold Water Wash Initiative. This is a partnership that's been working extremely well as each organization brings something different to the table. ACI brings information and expertise from the cleaning products industry. The Sustainability Consortium gathers people from all walks of life and other organizations that can help transform consumer goods into sustainable products and practices. And of course, NC State has given us a great campus platform to test, pilot, and implement our program. And they've given us a lot of support recently with their textiles department, their housing department, and their Office of Sustainability. I know we have a large number of extension professionals that are participating today in the webinar, and I want to say they are the experts in true partnership building and building collaborations. As a former extension professional, I can tell you that this Cold Water Saves program is a perfect fit for the work that you're doing. 
we're really, really proud of this partnership with NC State and, and really hope to grow this to other campuses and other colleges and universities. But we really appreciate NC State's um, um, willingness to work with us as we develop this initiative. So after testing a number of taglines and graphic concepts with their students and others, we landed on Cold Water Saves as the name of our initiative and our polar bear mascot. The Cold Water Saves brand is meant to be fun, engaging, supported with research that reinforces the fact that we all have an opportunity to do our laundry in a very sustainable way. The correct dosage of detergent, the right size of the laundry load, and even the choices of water temperature all together can make a big difference. So you can see on this slide that our program and events on the campus of NC State attracted some new fur friends for our polar bear as their mascots joined us in our efforts to educate college students about the benefits of cold water wash. So on this screen you're going to see one of many resources that we developed for our program. The students were receptive to this information and really found it quite easy to understand. They learned that this fabric care label contained a wealth of information and that by following this guidance, the symbols could help them get better results and preserve the life of their clothes. We also had some real aha moments during our interactions with the students at NC State as their official color is red. Hmm, is that why my whites turn pink when I do laundry? Uh, yeah, that's probably a good reason why they do. So for years we've been working on this issue and again, our mission is not to get everyone to wash every item and every load in cold water, but to let consumers and students know there's a wide assortment of clothes that can and should be washed in cold water. One of the most significant successes with our initiative was to be in the right place at the right time. And that's pretty true with everything that you all do. Working with the housing department to add our clings to the washing machine served us very well. This allowed us to intervene, interrupt, and pause the students' thinking as they selected their water temperature. The ability to place cold water saves message where the decision process is happening is very important. I also want to point out that the clings we have available are removable, but when you implement your program, you're going to want to check with anyone you might be working with in, public, in the public laundry areas, rooms, schools, or daycares. In addition our, um, to the clings and posters we have, we also use this as an opportunity to conduct um, some additional research for our educational initiatives. I recently had the opportunity to speak with family and consumer science teachers on the middle and high school levels about our program and learn that there is a great opportunity to incorporate cold water saves into their life skills program. So for our FCCLA chapters, that is Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America, this work is really perfect for their peer-to-peer -peer education. Imagine sending kids off to college better prepared to do their own laundry the right way or even preparing adults for adulting with, the, with more than 160,000 members of FCCLA. For our AAFCS participants today, this is an initiative that can be a win-win for you as many of you do work with colleges and universities or work on the university level and have easy access to the college community. While the place you conduct our program is unique, it is important to know what resonates with students. We have to make cold water saves relatable for it to be a success. So at NC State, we incorporated our school mascot, um, who doesn't love to get their picture taken with a polar bear. We related energy savings facts in a way that students could understand. We had some incentives, and we also utilized media outlets that students were engaged in. So by now you may be saying, oh my gosh, where do I get started, what do I do? Well, we've made that really, really easy for you with our educator toolkit and resources. On this screen you'll see our website address and you're going to find a lot of resources available to you. Videos, posters, social media, surveys, and much more. We even have the three flyers that you see in the bottom left hand of your screen. And as you learned earlier, um, there's a whole lot of other materials available to you, like specific messaging, short and sweet. So all of these materials and messages have been tested and are inspiring action. All of these materials are free, downloadable, and you have the ability to brand them with your own organization's name 
if you're interested. There's really not enough time to really share all the various resources with you, with you and all the activities that we've done in the last couple years, but I hope that these pictures are worth a thousand words about our Cold Water Saves initiative. You know, we continue to hear from partners um, around um, the United States, and on the next side you'll see exp their experience written in their very own words. Two quotes I'd like to share with you are one from Dr. Kevin Dooley, who works at the Sustainability Consortium as a scientist, and John Starbuck, who is in the housing office at NC State. Both of these quotes really give you a good idea of the success that we've had with cold water living. This initiative is helping students make more sustainable choices and we'd love to partner with all of you. So to quickly summarize, I'd like to say that sustainable living is important. It's a real topic and it's one we need to pay attention to. I also want to let you know that we have done an incredible amount of research, not nearly enough time to go into detail today, that can create a fun initiative for students that can make a big difference. We all know that laundry is a chore for everyone, but with this initiative, it is possible to save energy, save clothes, and save the planet. And we are more than happy to share our learnings and best practices with you. Our toolkit can jumpstart a program. Lastly, I just want to mention that this program is perfect for FCCLA chapters, community programming, on college campuses, and even at your local laundromat. As I'm running out of time, but not my enthusiasm for this program, I do encourage you to get involved in our initiative. It's a great way to engage your students and consumers in a topic that can make a difference and impact better living. And doesn't it always feel good when we're doing the right thing? So together, let's save energy, close the planet, and help your audience make more sustainable choices in the laundry room. Thanks, Nancy. Now we're going to open it up for questions and answers. If you have a question that you would like Nancy to answer, you can type it in the question box or click the hand icon and we'll unmute you so you can ask your question. We did have a few questions that came in during the webinar. And the first one is about germs. Do we need to be worried about germ transmission? That's a great question, Martha, and one that we have gotten previously. Um, my response to that would be that we we always worry about germ transmission and that's exactly why we have in a couple of places in this presentation types of clothing and fabric situations that we encourage you not to use cold water um, when you're choosing your water temperature. So if you go back and take a look at a couple of our slides, you'll see that we are advocating that in certain um, ways you should not use cold water for certain fabrics for um, certain fabric situations. Great. Thanks, Nancy. A second question is, what kind of stains are best treated in cold water? So yeah, this is another um, good question, Martha, and we do get a lot of questions about spots and stains here at ACI. In fact, it's our number one most requested topic on our website. So yeah, so I, I guess it's a difficult question to answer because there are so many spots and stains out there. Um, and the bottom line is, is that all stains will require extra work regardless of the wash temperature. But we have a lot of information on our website and quickly I would say when tackling a stain we typically always say start with cold water. Um, especially on stains of unknown origin. You know, you pick up something out of your laundry pile and you'll say, where did that stain come from? We're always advocating that you start, that you start with um, cold water. And the reason for that is because hot water can set protein stains like milk or egg or blood or something like that. So again, I want to send you guys, just because of our time here today, I'm going to send you to our website, lots of information on spots and stains. Okay, so we had one last question, and it was about a product called Volera. Um, the, somebody found it on the online, and they were looking for additional information. So Nancy, can you share more information about ways that would help our uh, consumers do their own research? 
Yeah, this is a really, really good example. This is actually equipment and a brand that we are familiar with here at the American Cleaning Institute. Um, it, Laundry Pure is manufactured by Valara, and so um, it does indicate that it, it does clean on cold water, um, and there's a good amount of information on their website. It's a technology that um, includes a cleaning action that requires activated oxygen to clean away the dirt and grime. So we're really not able today, Martha, to talk about the effectiveness of this. Um, we just refer folks to the website of the brand um, for more information. But again, as always, we always tend to look toward and look for research-based information, look for studies that have been done on this new product and any new product for that matter, whether it's an appliance, a cleaning product, what, whatever. So best bet is always do your research to be sure that what when you're making a purchase, you're choosing the right product for the job that you're doing. Great. Thank you, Nancy. We're out of time right now for questions and answers, um, but we did want to share a few more things with you. Um, if you um, are on social media, be sure to like us and follow us on Facebook, where we provide information about all of ACI's educational programs. And also, uh, we have a new blog coming out, Clean and Happy Nest. So be sure to go to cleanandhappynest.org to sign up for it. And if you need to order materials or if you have additional questions, our email address is education at cleaninginstitute.org. Um, on our website, you can download our materials for free. Uh, coming up, our next session for our Lunch and Learn webinar is Germ Reduction in the Home, and that's October the 25th, so be sure to register for that session. And then November 8th, we have our last one for this year, and it's Home Cleaning for the Holidays. So thank you again for joining our webinar today. Um, we talked about uh, sustainable living and our Cold Water Saves initiative, and we'll be sending out an email shortly with a link to the webinar and links to all of the resources that Nancy talked about. Thank you.